Hey guys, it's Jill from What Jill Wears, and today I have a trunk club to unbox. I'm going to show you everything really quick and then I'll do a try on. I It comes in plastic, so I took everything out so it was just ready to go. Um, they send you a ton of stuff, so I'm just going to kind of try to real quick go through this. Okay, first I got another pair of cut from the cloth jean shorts. I am in the mood. I have been looking for shorts, so we're doing the short thing. There's a bunch of them in here. These are the Gidget Frey shorts. I got another pair of Gidgets in my JB Style box, and these are white, super duper cute, look like a great inseam, so we'll try those on. And then I got these from Madewell. These are the Mom Jean Short high fitted waist with a slight a-line leg they're light wash they have that mom jean vibe to them there's not a lot of stretch in them if any maybe one percent um yeah we'll see what these look like on <laughs> look at the back though they look kind of like i don't know i don't know how those are gonna look we'll see and I have a pair of white jeans. These are by NYDJ. I still do not own a pair of white jeans. I have been looking for some. Um, it's hard to find them that look flattering and aren't see-through. They are clean hem, except they have this little slit kind of at the bottom. So we will see how those look. And I think they look like they're a crop length. Next, we have a pair of shorts that are by Treasure and Bond. These are a um, button fly. And they are slightly distressed on the front. Frayed bottoms again. These ones do have some stretch in them. I like this wash. This is like a really cute, like casual wash. And then I have one more pair of pants. These are the Hudson Crop, or no, the Madison Crop. These are by Blank NYC. And these ones were on super sale. So I kind of hope that these work out because they're a really good price. <laughs> they're a high rise. They are a faded black and they have a little bit of distressing and they do have the uh, raw hem. Cute. This was sort of like the rocker look I was going for when we went to Chicago that I didn't get, but I always like that look. So this is a dress by Madewell. It is just a black short dress with a crisscross front and some flutter sleeves. This looks really cute. I think it's polyester though. So yeah. Next we have a tank. This is by Zella. Love this brand. A little crop. Racer back. Don't really have racer back bras though. So I didn't know when I saw this that it was that kind of back. But um, yeah, we'll still try it on. Then we got some pants. These were a splurge that she said was well worth it. These are by Eileen Fisher. They are, I believe, 100% cotton. Nope, these are 89% tensile and 11% elastane. They're a crop, kind of plazo pant. pant. Pockets. Like a rib knit. Yeah, we'll see. And then we have a tank by Madewell. This is really cropped. I did not think it was this cropped. It is very um, thick feeling. I'm guessing this is 100% cotton because it just feels like it. Yes, 100% cotton. 
Here's another dress. This is sort of a bodycon dress. It is by 14 Place. Has buttons all down the front. It is a midi length, but we'll see if it's actually midi on me or if it's full length because I'm short. But it has a very nice feel to it. It's very thick and substantial feeling. So hopefully um, it will be flattering on the body. But I tried another dress on like this um, that my daughter actually got in her Stitch Fix. And it was... I don't know. I kind of liked it. So I was like, I might start looking for something. This one's much cheaper than that one was. So we'll see. And then last we have a jumpsuit. This is by Halogen. I'm guessing this one is polyester. Yes, 100% polyester. It feels not rough though. It feels very soft. There's no stretch whatsoever to it though. And it has a little bit of a tapered leg, I think. Maybe not. All right, that is my box. Let's do a try on. So this is the vibe that I'm going for with these white jeans. This is for my dirty dancing trip. This is one of the tops I was going to wear and I thought that it just looks like her outfit <laughs> with the white tennis shoes, the white pants, and this white kind of peasant top. And I think it accomplishes the look. The pants are the perfect crop length and I think it's good. I almost think these are a little see-through. They feel nice. I'm glad she sized down in these. But you can definitely see, I have black underwear on, you can definitely see that in the side. Otherwise, these are pretty good. I don't know. What do you think? Is that little spot bad? Obviously I can wear nude underwear. Problem solved. Next I have on the Madewell Tank, the Treasure and Bond shorts. I think both fit really good. I thought that this tank was going to be super duper short, but I actually think this length is really quite perfect for my short torso body. <laughs> It's really cute. I like it a lot. Fits the bra straps good. There's no gapping underneath the armpits, which is always a problem with tanks with me. Um, but this actually fits really, really good. And then the jeans are, or the shorts are an actual really good length. The pockets inside are super long because in the picture it showed these pockets kind of going through the bottom. I don't know it's not a bad look I guess I probably would not wear them that way but it's kind of nice to have deep pockets <laughs> and then there is a little bit of like a step hem here so they're a little bit longer in the back than the front which is also really nice and they are a button fly and a little bit more of a high rise of a mid to high rise, I would say. Belly button's here. So yeah, I really like both these things. I have the next pair of shorts on. <laughs> these are the mom shorts and these are not cute. <laughs> I bet on someone they would look so cute, but on me, they are not cute. They are super duper high rise. I do like the color, the length is pretty good, but I feel like they're just too open here, too long here, <laughs> and too long and weird in the back. Well, they're not cute, <laughs> they're not flattering on me at all. Here are the white cut from the cloth shorts. 
These are very roomy, so I definitely have to size down in them. I really like them. They fit really well otherwise. I love the length of them. I love the little bit of distressing. However, I do have a white pair of shorts that looks very, very similar to these. And I will show you in just a minute. And sorry, I don't have any, there's hardly any tops in here to swap my shirts out for you, but kind of focusing on the bottoms today. Here are my shorts that are very similar. These are by Supplies. I'm not sure what brand that is, but they are 100% cotton, I believe. Nope, 98% cotton, 2% spandex. So they do have a bit of a stretch in them and they have the same distressing on either side. These are wrinkly because they've been in my drawer all winter. They do have one roll at the bottom or you can roll them down. There's no raw hem like these ones. So, I could justify them because of that, and they're super cute and not see-through. Not see-through that I see. I think they're good. So these could be a possibility. All right, I'm super happy these fit and are super cute. They are such a great length. I love the distressing. They feel really nice. I feel like they just suck me all in. They are a very high rise. So if you get some crop tanks, I think they would be super cute with that. I don't have a lot of high rise. So um, adding a few to my wardrobe, I think would be really nice, even though I do prefer mid rise most of the time. But I think having a couple good high rise would be nice. Um, yeah, I feel like they're really good. I do like how they are a different color at the bottom when you roll them up. Gives it a different look. I think you can wear them in the summer and in the winter. And I'm excited. Yay! Here are the Eileen Fisher pants and the Zella tank. I did not put a bra on for this, so you can see the sides and the back, but it is a nude bra, so I guess it makes it a little bit better. <laughs> I think it's super cute. I wish it was just a regular strap tank. I just don't wear Razorbacks that often. I don't even think I own one. I, can, I do have the little connector thing, so I guess I could do that. These pants are super duper comfortable. I totally see what she was talking about, but they are really, really expensive. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure, but they're super cute. I've been looking for pants like this more so in a pattern. All right, this dress is quite lovely. I think this silhouette on me looks really, really nice. The deep V still covers and makes it modest. The sleeves look really nice. It comes in right at my waist where I need to be, like where it needs to come in at. And I think it's slimming. It's really pretty. Do I need a dress? Fancy? No. <laughs> Especially because really the only time I wear dresses is to shoot weddings and I could never shoot a wedding in this dress. It's too short. And if I lean over to take pictures of something, I come out. <laughs> so this is like a fancy dress that you would wear to something fancy. And I don't really have anything fancy to go to. <laughs> I love it though. It's so pretty. Here is the jumpsuit. Again, a very good fit. The length is perfect. You could wear it with flats or heels. And they taper just a tiny bit at the bottom. It has a little tie here. It comes in at a really good spot on my waist. has pockets. 
I think it's really flattering up here. It is polyester though, and I feel like it would be super duper hot if I wore it to a wedding in the summer. But it's very cute. Lastly, I have this very cute black ribbed midi dress. And I just put some sneakers on with it. I thought that would be a very cute casual look with it and a jean jacket. And here it is without. I almost feel like I should size down in it because it is a little big in places. But I don't know how flattering it is. What do you guys think? It's just very roomy right here. And the armholes are slightly big, so definitely sizing down I think would help. But I feel like it is stretchy enough and thick enough that it doesn't show lumps and bumps. You could throw a hat on with it. You could throw some wedges. It's kind of cute. I definitely do think sizing down though, just for this roominess right here and here. I don't know. I kind of like it. It's really cute. Okay, let's do a recap and talk pricing. Okay, well, several hours have gone by <laughs> and I did not do the recap yet because I had to pick my daughter up from school. She had softball, I had some errands to run, we had dinner, and now I am finally back home and I'm gonna do this recap real quick. So, the Eileen Fisher Organic Cotton Crop Wide Leg Pants are $148. So expensive. <laughs> that's so crazy. Uh, the Souvenir Ringer Tank by Madewell, that's the orange crop tank, is 35. I think I'm gonna keep that one. The cape sleeve midi dress, mini dress by Madewell, that was a shorter black dress, is 98. I really like that style on me, but I don't really need a black dress right now like that. The um, ribbed, oh, ripped mom jean denim shorts by Madewell, those were the really funny looking ones. Those are 74.50, those are going back. The Sherry Rivet Side Slit Slim Ankle Jeans by NYDJ are $99. Those are the white jeans for a hundred bucks. Uh, I don't know. I don't feel like they were perfect. The High Waist Boyfriend Cutoff Denim Shorts by Treasure and Bond are $69. That's a little high too for a pair of denim shorts. They did fit good, so I don't know. Those are a maybe. The short sleeve jumpsuit by Halogen is 89. I'm gonna send that back, polyester, it's just uh, too hot. <laughs> the work for a tank top by Zella's 29. I'm gonna send that back too. I really wish I could keep it because I love Zella tank tops, but I wish it were more of like just a regular tank. The Gidget Frayed Hem Denim Shorts by Cut From The Cloth in White are $69. Again, wow, those are expensive shorts. Um, I'm going to try on my other white shorts and see what I think the difference is. I don't think there's a size exchange for the Cut From The Cloth ones, though, so kind of a bummer. But I feel like they have those shorts all the time on their website, and they're always like, buy one, get one half off, and they have sales, so I don't know. The Madison Ripped Mid-Rise Straight Leg Jean by Blank NYC 3520. Yeah, those are the black um, distressed ones that are high-waisted. Such a good price. Those are, um, t 
tell you the price, $88 jeans. So yeah, I'm super excited about that price. The square neck ribbed knit bodycon mini dress by 14th place is 55. So that's a really good price too for that black mini dress. I did look for exchange for that too, and they don't have it. So uh, I don't think, I think I would definitely want to size down. So I don't know, that might be something that I look for on like Poshmark later. I don't know. I did kind of like it though. So yeah, I think maybe just what did I say, the tank and the jeans and maybe the shorts. That was a good box though. I'm pretty happy with it. They've been doing a pretty good job. I did decline their first preview that they sent me. It just wasn't me. There was just a lot of stuff that was like fancy or polyester or whatever that just wasn't like making me want to get any of it. I think there was like one thing that I was like, okay, but everything else needed to be exchanged. And Trunk Club does have exchanges through the site. So when you're going through your preview, kind of cool at the bottom, it will show you like similar options and you can swap in one of the similar options, which I think is an awesome addition that they did. And so I did that for a few things in this box and I have in the past. I'm just glad they had the option because I think that's kind of cool. Anyway, I, I don't know. Help me out. Probably those jeans for sure in that tank. So, all right. I have other boxes coming. I told you all, Box of Palooza is happening. So, stay tuned. And I did just post my Chicago trip and Stitch Fix. And I have another Stitch Fix coming. So, subscribe so you can get the notifications with the little bell that you click on. It'll, like, tell you when I post. So, keep on watching. And we'll see you guys next time.